I've talked about the increasing wokeness of Doctor Who for many years now and the the feminist stuff really started to come in quite strongly during the Stephen Moffat, Peter Capaldi era. But even going back further than that, during the first Russell T. Davis era, there was what I would describe as content creeping in uh, with Captain Jack that was just inappropriate, in my opinion. However, during the Capaldi era, the writing began to introduce more feminist ideology to the point of bordering on misandry. The Doctor received regular dressings down from Clara. There were digs about men and masculinity from both her character and also the character of River Song. Uh, a male Time Lord once regenerated into a black woman and immediately she began asking, how do men cope with all of their ego? Bill Potts was an openly lesbian character and eventually the first overtures about transgenderism started to enter the show with discussion of how the Time Lords can change their genders. And of course, the Master became Missy. Uh, there was an episode where David Bradley played the first Doctor, who was of course originally played by William Hartnell. And the character is criticised for being a sexist and a chauvinist during the episode. So again, undermining the legacy of the character in the franchise. And there were episodes where they went back to Victorian London and deliberately inserted diversity where historically there hadn't been any, obviously. But nothing quite compared to the years that followed with the first female doctor played by Jodie Whittaker. The writing quality took a nosedive during the Chris Chibnall era. There was a line in there about how the doctor becoming a woman was an upgrade. Cringe. The show became an opportunity to push more diverse casting and lecture audiences about racism and sexism. And the doctor's entire backstory was retconned so that he actually started life not as the first male doctor, but as a young black female. We warned people about this when they championed the move of making the Doctor a woman in the first place. We warned that this was all part of a social engineering agenda. We explained that wokeness was an attack on culture. We weren't listened to or understood by a vocal minority of extremely lefty Doctor Who fans. As far as they're concerned, the more stunning and brave, the better. Quality of writing be damned. Incredibly, things actually got worse when David Tennant returned as the Doctor for a brief stint during the 60th anniversary specials in 2023. A trans character was introduced because, you know, current year. Uh, the Doctor was lectured about gender-neutral pronouns and he was really put down for being a male-presenting Time Lord, really talked down to. Then a new Doctor was introduced, the first gay black Doctor played by Shuti Gatwa. And we've been told that some stories will focus on the character being black. Radio Times had this article recently. Shuti Gatwa says, New Doctor Who will address race. You can't ignore my chocolateness. Gatwa says it would be essential to explore race during his time on the show. And then there was this recent addition to the latest episode of the new series. Henry, get away from him. Them. What? Me. Here we go again with the pronoun thing. What? I'm them. You're who? Recently, we've seen the gender neutral pronoun thing creeping into not just Doctor Who, but also Star Trek and Star Wars. They're really pushing it now in these franchises, aren't they? Nice to see you again, kiddo. What are we watching here? You know each other. That's my daddy. <laughs> okay. Less than a tenth of a percent of the audience is probably appreciating this stuff. But remember, when you complain about it, you're the problem, apparently. Because everyone should just embrace this garbage by default. Then there was this recently. Metro.co.uk had this article. Sorry, straight white men. Doctor Who was never made just for you. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure this kind of commentary won't have a negative impact on series ratings or anything. Which are already in the toilet. Sure, there's always been female Doctor Who fans. But let's be honest, the demographics of the fan base, as far back as the beginning of the franchise, were always primarily straight white men. Funnily enough, sometime after sharing this post on Twitter, the Metro UK Twitter account appears to have been deleted. Not just the post, but the entire account. Why did that happen? Was the backlash that bad? Here's an interesting article from Slate.com. Jinx Monsoon is right on time. 
Doctor Who's newest nemesis discusses Straight Frame, Broadway success, and how she's become the maestro of her own life. What kind of response to maestro are you expecting from the traditional Doctor Who fans? Russell T. Davis brought Doctor Who to everyone. He brought it back because he was passionate about it. To the people who have issues, the show that you love was created by a queer person. Get over it. A lot of people are going to really love this. And I think this season is going to create a lot of new Doctor Who fans. And if we lose some of the transphobic ones, don't let the door hit you on the way out. There's a lot of toxicity around the gender and the trans conversation. In the 70s, it was the conversation of queerness, the gay conversation. We overcame it once and we'll overcome it again. To the people who are upset about it, boo-hoo, cry your effing tears. It's not your world exclusively. We all live here, so get over yourself. Uh Uh-huh. This person sounds entirely stable and reasonable to me. I know a lot of people might not even watch this season of Doctor Who because it's taking such a decisively weird step. (laughs) (laughs) You can say that again. However, if they watch it, I think they'll see that they're just actors playing characters. And if they don't watch it, then who needs them? I truly believe that for every fan we lose to transphobia, we're going to have two or three more coming in because they're excited for trans representation. Trans representation, folks. Who knew that that would be the thing to increase Doctor Who's ratings? Yeah. I'm sure we're going to see a massive viewership bump any day now. Holding my breath there. Um, I mean, what the hell is going on? Like, everything about where this show has gone now in recent years, and especially right now, it's so extreme. Doctor Who is, in my opinion, just pushing radical gender ideology onto impressionable young minds. This show isn't suitable for children anymore. It's just disgraceful what what they're putting in these shows now. Uh, But what's quite incredible is that there hasn't been a much more significant public backlash against the show as a result. Uh, Mainstream media, of course, continue to run defense for the series. But history, I don't think, is going to be kind to this era of television. I mean, so many franchises right now, as we've discussed before, are ideologically captured to one degree or another by things like DEI requirements and the message. I mean, we tried to warn people that it was going to probably go to this point. Uh, It started again with just a few petty feminist digs uh, about masculinity and male characters a few years ago, but it didn't stop at attacking the Doctor's masculinity and putting him in his place now and again. Uh, It's now deconstructing gender itself at every level and trying to pass this off as normal. And if you don't like it, you're the problem. You're the ist, you're the ism, you're the phobe, the bigot, whatever. And it's not made for you. Well, Any self-respecting Doctor Who fan would never watch what this show has become at this stage. Um, It is perhaps the worst affected franchise when it comes to Woke. Doctor Who, there you go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your comments below. Take care, subscribe for more, hit that like button, share this video if you can, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.